Oh my god, look at this! The calamari is going through the camera! <laughs> Welcome back folks, another action packed out going fishing adventures. I'm a bit excited this morning. It's going for some squid. It is autumn time and I should be here, but lately it's been pretty tough. The water is very clear, so there should be no excuses. I think we get set up because we are drifting a fair bit. And I hate going over I hate going over the grounds without even throwing the line in. I'll put this one out here. And I usually fish with two rods. Nothing wrong with that because when there's one squid there's got to be another. I'm going to cast this one, this one away from the boat. So we are drifting. So on this outfit here I've got a nice red one. It's a bit heavy but that's alright, the wind will fix it up. Just won't cast it too far and just keep jigging it. Alrighty, awesome. I hooked up onto a, a squid before and I've just got the little tentacle left. This time I've been very gentle. It's not a great big one, it's a small one. Right here. That'll do me. First calamari of the morning. Good 40 minutes. You gotta be patient. Whoa, man. A lot of juice for a small one. But that's, um, that's great. They are small, so I really don't expect to, uh, get that many today um, because these small ones get chomped up by the bigger prey. probably the big ones still need to come in but hey that's terrific love it just trying to find that just trying to locate them because they they could be congregated in one area it looks really dark here so I'm, I'm pretty sure there's got to be a few good sized ones here as I said I caught a I reeled up before and on the jig there was a little bit left over of, of the squid that was on it. Didn't even notice it was that, that small. Right, so this wind is actually packing a punch. Had to put the sea anchor out again. And it's, it's a slow morning. <laughs> good conditions, good water. I just reckon that the water is just a bit too still warm for the squid. I mean, on, on the sound of here, it's 22.3 degrees. Maybe they, um, they don't like the warm water. And they come in when it gets a bit cooler, I think. Oh, yeah. Squid on. Oh. Squid off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I felt it. I felt it. Oh, that one's going to take off too. Oh my god, that hurt. I had him. He could have been attacked. He could have been attacked by a, a fish or blowfish, I don't know. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Again, he's not very big. And I just, I, I think he was taken by something. Oh man. <laughs> when it's lean and you lose one. <laughs> oh. A bit more deeper water now, 13 metres. a nice hook up again I got my phone texting and oh my god it was a good uh, it was definitely good calamari they just aren't hooking up right oh man so I've got something on the hand line here I'm actually in a bit of bother I got stung by flathead and my fingers numb really bad Will I catch another flathead? I don't want to see these guys at all. My, my finger is just, it's ruined, it's rooted. Pain, because it got me twice. 
finally, finally, just working this jig pretty hard. I had to move again. We got a hopefully a good find for some mine. Be that gentle. Always keep the pressure on. Here he comes. Oh, he's got a follower. You beauty. Oh, he's got a good follower. So, and the follower's actually getting attacked by him. So I'm going to reel up the other one. See if he's going to go. And he's actually going for his mate. He's actually, because they are carnivorous, he's attacking him. Bloody awesome. Oh my god, look at this! The calamari is going through the camera! <laughs> no way! Next time I'll put a set of barbs at the camera and use that for a jig. <laughs> so guys, the main camera died. Still managed to get him. I don't know if you saw that on the water shot, two of them. And the collar came up. Beauty. Two fine specimens. That's how we do it. <laughs> That's how we do it. Still salvage the video on that one. Not quite. And that one there was in attack. Um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Awesome. You just look at the water. It's got that glass in this. Does that work? Oh, you got me. Those are the two there. Awesome. All right, let's see if we get a few more. Yeah, a bit of weed. There is a lot of surface weed around here. And that holds the bait. And the squid should be underneath them. Sorry about that before, I didn't realise the battery ran out. I can't believe it, the fully charged batteries and they just died so quick. It's amazing how things just change. The two colour mara there. And that's taken me an hour and a half, mind you. Right. This one's got a bit of boom boom here. A bit of curry. Oh, what is it? Oh, okay. Poor man's red emperor. <laughs> These aren't too bad as, as well. Quite good white flesh. Oh. And, um, so once again, I convert a few legs of the squid into a bit of a feed. <laughs> no squid, nothing. That's how it goes. I'm not going to pretend. If you watch my show, they say, oh yeah, Dom's a good fisherman. Oh, pretty average. Um, lately, it's just how it is, you know. I'm almost, almost thinking, why should I even post a video? Because, you know, there's not much action happening at the moment. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Give us a comment what you think. Should I don't upload a movie when I don't catch any? Or just do it? Or quit altogether? So with the fish on to a few little cuts for the skin. So I'm just gonna have simple squid rings. The rod. Fish there, calamari right here. Just season it up a bit. Grabbing some herbs from the garden. A bit of parsley. 
and a little bit of dill and just put it into the cavity. Hopefully that will infuse the fish's flavour as it's cooking. Just put this on the barbie. Um, I'm just going to throw it on. Not oil because I've got the scales still on there. Did that cook for about two, five minutes on each side. Probably a bit less. Oh, pissy, pissy. Alright, I think it's time to turn that one upside down. Yeah, look at that. That side. That's good. The scales definitely. The scales are definitely protecting that flesh right here. So I'll just turn, we'll almost turn it off, this little cook by itself. Let's get into the calamari. Right, so I'll put a bit of pepper in this. And just actually put this in there. It's only a small feed of squid. Almost a single serve, I reckon. It might be a half serve. Okay, that's pretty good. Pan here. Fire it up. Got beautiful olive oil. Whoops, that's no good. All right, I better start cooking up these squid. Got delayed. Mum's on the phone with her brother in um, New South Wales, Wollongong. I quickly cook up these here. Good thing about cooking is you can have a nice little drink. Don't feel guilty about it. You've got a Shiraz. Red and seafood, there's nothing wrong with that at all. So I would. That's a beauty fish tucker. I just love calamari. Oh. Alright, they're done. Look at that. Nice serving. Squeeze the lemon. Beautiful. Just leave it here. I'll grab the fish. There you go. That's a fish right here. And I've already cut the flesh off a little bit. Look at that. You can discard all that from the garden. Here's a compost. Again, the lemon juice. Beautiful. And probably a small drizzle of oil. A bit more parsley. Put in there. Calamari right here. I always got to be background noise when I'm doing these videos. Shh, bloody dogs. Anyway, dollar petite. That looks fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful. So we're going to try the um. Ouch. The lemon juice in the cup. I'm going to try the fish. Yeah, that's perfectly cooked. Coming off the bone like that. Beautiful. If you come across someone that doesn't like rash, tell them to watch Dom's Fishing Adventures because this is just delightful. Beautiful. Calamari. Oh, he nearly escaped. You shut that dog up. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway. Mm. I think the dog wants to have some. See you next time. Don't for cheap and take it easy. Fish, tucker, fish, tucker, fish, tucker, man. Fish, tucker, fish, tucker, the fish, tucker, man.